Part 3, welcome back. This time we'll set up how to make our character actually look like they're in combat instead of just running around or floating around with the sword. So, first thing we're going to do is in our character components where we have all the animation blueprints. Right click, animation, blend space. Not the 1D like last time, but the blend space. Because this one is going to need to be able to move in full directions. So, make sure you click the Akai still don't know how to say that, but that skeleton, and we'll call this armed underscore BS. It ain't that kind of BS, but it's, you know. Anyway, for the horizontal axis, which is this left to right, then we will set this to be direction. Hit tab, so hit set this to negative 180, oh, not 189, 180. Tab again and make that 180. Make sure the first one is negative and the second one is positive 180. And then for the vertical axis, we'll set that to speed just like last time. And then we'll set the maximum axis value. Minimum axis, leave it at zero, but the maximum axis we'll set to. That's a decent speed for a person in, on guard to be moving. Let's say 175. That's usually what I use, I think. Alright, now for this one we'll have to set up all around. So for the bottom row, you'll want sword and shield idle right here. So just drag that one off into the bottom row all the way across the board. And then about as a right here, speed 88, we will set it to Sword and shield, walk, walk one. Some of these are a little jumbled. Let's see how you're walking here. You're walking forward. You're forward walking. You're so forward. Back in the blend space. Sword and shield, walk. Oh, if you hover over it, it'll give you a little preview. My bad. Anyway. Put that one right in the middle so that when they're walking directly forward, they're walking directly forward. For sword and shield one. <laughs> Apparently it doesn't do it until you actually selected it, but you want the walking backward to be over on the sides. If you click play, it'll actually show you which way they're going. You want that one to be on this side and the backwards one on both far edges. That way, whenever they're at completely 180 going backwards, it's that way, and when they're all the way around and negative 180, it's back. So, on the middle, we want them to be strafing a certain way. We'll probably have to readjust these just because it always seems like I have to readjust these. I can never remember which way is left, which way is right in this, so we'll just set that that way for now. And then test it, make sure it works. If this is correct, then we'll come back through and adjust it accordingly. Hmm. Actually, let's set that maximum axis value to 450. And then we'll set you to about here. here. Just so that instead of having to switch animations, we can just get the sword and shield run. Sword and shield run. Set it all the way at the top so when they're not on guard and they can actually run, it just runs. When they walk, they can just walk like that. But that way, yeah. We don't have to swap animations when they drop their guard. Because we're going to set up another input function in our project settings. If you don't have the project settings open from here, just edit, project settings, and then boom. Down in engine, hit input. Right click. Or click that, rather. We'll call this one guard. And 
I'm going to set that to right mouse button. I'm on our player blueprint. If you don't have that open, just find your character in the map. Right click, edit player BP, it'll open this up. And I'm going to select that off and say equip she, so I can find it later. And move it out the way. Not that far out the way. Right click, call, it, call our guard command, and then we'll ask, can guard, drag that out, get, hold B on the keyboard, left click, press, uh, pressed, hooked up, can guard, if true then we will set to guarding. Off of released, this is one that we're going to have a another branch will be left click, released, and if they are guarding, then we will undo that. So, can they guard? If true, then we will set guarding to true. Drag off our character movement component. Set orient rotation to movement to false, but the orient, ro oh, orient rotation move it to false, what that does is wherever your character goes it automatically rotates your character to face that direction. Drag off the character movement again, get control, now, what is it called? It's use controller, so set use controller desired rotation. This is It'll allow the mouse to determine which way your character looks. So we'll just bring that up real quick. In case you don't remember, it's box select and Q in order to line them up better off of each other. Just, if you have OCD like me, we'll go ahead and box select, control C, control V. If they are guarding, then we want to set that back to its default of orient rotation to movement and use controller desire rotation to false. Put both those up. Drag those down just a little bit just for to make it look pretty. And off of our character rotation movement. We'll set our walk speed to, what did we say, 175? Let me take a look. Um, blank space. Right now, this is at about 120, 113, so I'll set it to, for now, 113 just to test. Double click, and you can add. Uh, you can add a reroute node. It really helps to pretty these up. Control C, our walk speed, Control V. Put that up down here, set that back to 450 so that if they're not on guard, they go back to running. Okay, and guard. Let's see, back over here in our equip sheath. We want to set it to where if they are equipped with a weapon, then they can guard. So we'll drag off can guard. If you want to hold alt and drag it off, then it'll automatically do a set. Set that to true. Control C, Control V. Drag that off. Set that to false. Because we don't want them trying to guard with no weapon. That wouldn't make no sense. Drag this over a little bit. See, the handy thing about these comment nodes is you can drag the whole thing around real easily. So if you need to reshape it, you can just... Ugh, you can just boom. More room! Boom. Tidy! That, that whole deal. So, this should be good enough to get our test underway. So, for our blend space, in our anim graph, we'll go to our state machine, 
under the melee ready that we set up last time. We'll delete the idle and drag out this armed blend space. Hook it in. Grab direction from our variables menu. Speed from our variables menu. And then we'll jump in and test it. So, can't do nothing when I don't have a weapon equipped. Equip the weapon. And now, now you see, we have we have it worked off. We'll fix it to where you can't really tell the feet mess up. We'll be adjusting the camera's depth and all that. So, but for right now, yeah, it's working. So back in our armed blend space, let's set the speed number of division to six because we want it around 147. Yeah, let's do eight. I really like for it to be as close to the actual thing as I can. We'll do up to the second bar, which is at 106, and then we will sword and shield walk. We'll set it at the 168 mark. This was strafe one. Strafe one up. And strafe over to that one. For the shield walk one above the backwards movements. And then in our player blueprint, set that to 175. Compile. And equip your weapon. And then there you go. Nice. And then if I let it go, yeah, running with the sword. Oh. Right. In our anim graph here in our armed blend space, let's go back to our initialize. We'll box select that. The blend poses by boo, play, fall loop, and the jumping variable. Control C. Into the melee ready. Drag that, back it up, control V to paste it, put that to the false, put that up, and then even if you got your weapon equipped, there you go, she jumps like a jumping person. So now, you'll be able to actually, yeah, act like you're going to chop somebody down, what you talking about fool? What you doing here? I told you to stay away. Yeah. You afraid of my own guard pose? I'm sorry. I Lots of coffee, lo little sleep. So, <laughs> but anyway, I'll keep this video short. And the next one, we'll actually go over adjusting the camera to make it a more dynamic action pose and adding in the attack function. But for now, yeah, here we go. Later.